everybody good morning this is my temporary setup for today just wanted to share it with you back to using my old stabilizer with a bungee cord sound recorder right here so that I can swap the audio for the GoPro and not get all the uh, weird noise in the motors um, gonna change these batteries out often I have to change out the batteries and the gimbal every half hour as well and charge them but you know what for today it'll work let's get into sale know how I like to go to like commercial or industrial areas when I get to big cities like I'm in Salem right now well I don't know if you can see by that street sign right there it says commercial street and there's some water over here there's also another RV over there that white class B over there uh, but yeah I'm gonna pop down the GPS coordinates for this particular parking spot here in Salem where I can walk about I think it's about half a mile to get into the actual downtown area of Salem so um, my plan is to kind of look around uh, see what I find in the area I want to do a tour and I want to do a night tour so I'm gonna scope the place out buy some tickets for tonight and um, I will share everything with you guys here in this cool little witch town so I believe the idea here is to follow the uh, red line that's pretty much your tourist route as long as you're on the red line so we'll go check out Salem their sidewalks here are really colorful, but the cars don't necessarily stop. Oh, well, there's a haunted bazaar. I don't see much haunted about it, but... It doesn't look like a haunted bazaar at all. Never mind. If you look around, people are pretty much wearing long pants and sweaters, and I'm still wearing a t-shirt and shorts here. all your fears this weekend. <laughs> You can also see the cobblestone uh, roadway here, pretty cool. All sorts of tourist traps and stuff in here, but that's okay. Like pretty much every little museum and every little spot here costs money, obviously. Okay. On the lookout for a magnet, something to do with Salem witches. They do have lots of neat decorations, I'll give them that. I don't know if they do this year-round or this is just for the month of October, I'm not sure. It's like this trolley bus is going to do a tour of some sort. And then we got the Salem Armory Visitor Center here. So actually, if you're in this area, make this stop your first stop. You can grab a map and talk to this guy, he's really knowledgeable, tells you how to get around the town. Uh, that looks pretty deadly. While I'm in here, I'm going to look for a magnet too. Cause it looks like they've got some souvenirs and stuff. The only ones I see are Friendship of Salem with ships. No witch related magnets? Salem. This uh, black building right here is the John Ward House. Built in 1684, but actually moved three blocks to this location in 1910. <laughs> okay. So they're lining up for the Salem Witch Museum. This is Roger Conant, the first settler of Salem. And across the street is the Salem Witch Museum. Next Very long line. Is going in at okay, I did find some magnets. Actually, that's cool. Two bucks. So I haven't given you a whole lot of history or details about Salem, as in I haven't gone on the tour yet, so this is just kind of a precursor. I'm going to go back to the RV, uh, make dinner real quick, and then um, I'll take you along for our, our uh, ghost history tour tonight. So I uh, rearranged the magnets a little bit, spread them out a little more, put my new one right here. But this way I have them on the front, took all my NASCAR stuff off. And I've also got some on the side with still lots more room. Now I'm two days late putting the sticker up, but let's go ahead and do it now. Massachusetts. Awesome. 
go outside? Would that, would that work for you? Okay. Salem Witch Trials were a series of hearings and prosecutions of people accused of witchcraft in colonial Massachusetts in 1692. The trials resulted in the executions of 20 people, 14 of them women, and all but one by hanging. Five others, including two infant children, died in prison. Twelve other women had previously been executed in Massachusetts and Connecticut during the 17th century. Despite being generally known as the Salem Witch Trials, the preliminary hearings in 1692 were conducted in several towns, Salem Village, now Danvers, Salem Town, Ipswich, and Andover. Okay, hi guys. <laughs> I'm still in Salem. Um, as you can see behind me, I moved the RV to a different location for the day. Uh, you might be wondering why I just kind of cut off and stopped, ooh, it's really windy too. Why I just stopped filming last night, I am just going to quickly say the night tour did not work out as I planned. And so that's why I stayed here in Salem an extra day. Oh my gosh, it's so windy. And now I'm thinking that it's not gonna be very busy. So I'm gonna walk back to town and kind of film a little bit myself and show you some of my favorite places of downtown Salem. So here we go. Okay, now I kind of miss the sun, but hey, the paths are cool here with the cobblestone. It works. And I will just uh, mention this real quick. If you are thinking about doing any kind of tour, day tour, night tour, do some research, guys. Uh, look at reviews, um, ask locals. You can pick the wrong tour, just so you know. I'm not even gonna get into it. I'm smiling today. Okay, let's take this creepy trail through the woods here. Oh yeah. I'm kind of still getting my equipment wet because it's windy and the rain's getting under the umbrella, so I might cut this tour a little short. Okay, this is the Salem Cemetery. Very creepy. I don't know how many witches are buried in this cemetery, but ironically, um, as far as the history of the witch trials, they didn't last that long. I guess they only lasted like two months or something like that. Uh, but it's like made the whole city. Um, one of the adjacent cities of uh, Danvers. Actually, they physically changed their name because they didn't want to be associated with the Salem witch trials and stuff. Um, but five of the witches um, were actually pregnant. And at the time, they couldn't kill a pregnant witch back then, so they had to wait until they gave birth, and then they were put to death. Kind of creepy. And actually, this house that's on the other side here, the cemetery, 
by the way, there, it does have a for rent sign on it, um, is the Spider's House. Something to do with it's not only haunted, but people all wake up all night long and think that they are completely covered in spiders. Whether that's true or not, I don't know, but it's kind of creepy. Here's the front of the Spider's building. It is a private residence, so I don't want to get too close and invade their privacy as we're walking past, but very creepy. In here, very unique, one-of-a-kind building here. Actually, um, it is the only building house that has ever moved uh, to a different continent. Yes, yes. it was uh, brought overseas from France and then put on a new continent here in Salem, Massachusetts. All right, and this street here is Front Street, which um, actually did not always used to be a street at all. Although it is kind of a quite famous street now, this would have been underwater right here, <laughs> running through downtown Salem. So this has now uh, been paved over and water diverted. I forgot when that was, maybe like 100 years ago or something like that. But yeah, interesting. 100 years prior, I would be underwater walking this right here. October and Halloween are just, it's just an awesome time of year. Not quite as cool as Christmas, but pretty cool. Hey everybody, I wanted to make one quick update change addition to the end of this video here real quick, uh, just to kind of share with you guys and uh, address a few things. Many of you know that um, I manage two other social media accounts, Facebook for Nomadic Fanatic and Instagram. And uh, many times I share, well, most of the time I share um, stuff that's not really revealed or shared or talked about on, on YouTube. So if you join me on one of those networks, sometimes you hear stuff earlier than YouTube does. Um, and certainly I share completely different pictures on Instagram than I do on Facebook and, and stuff like that. Um, but for the YouTube world, I just want to address real quick. Uh, Morgan and I have decided to um, go different ways with our private lives, and we will not be meeting up here next month. Um, and that's all you really need to know. Um, maybe one day in the future, I might be somebody's priority as well. And that's pretty much all I want to talk about. But I want you all to know, it's been... It's been tough and a little bit difficult for me to in the last few days. So, sorry about the delay in the video. Uh, just, uh, yeah. Anyway, I will see you guys in a couple days from Boston, though, no matter what. So, thanks, everyone. Hey, guys. This is Jax, my kitty cat. I'm his servant, Eric. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel here on RVing. If you like the video, give us a thumbs up below. Make sure you subscribe. Check out all our other videos. And keep following us on the road. Thanks, guys.